Hello and welcome to another introduction video workshop to Blender 2.5. This video workshop has been put together for students in the Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences and is made very much for a classroom environment. This workshop is the third in a series of introduction workshops in the 9th grade Skills 21 course. In our previous workshops, we explored uh, some of the basic uh, mathematical concepts that we should understand when working in this uh, wonderful 3D modeling and animation software, which can be downloaded for free at blender.org. And then uh, we also explored um, some of the controls with our 3D, uh, sorry, sorry, our three button mouse. Um, in, our, in this workshop, we're going to uh, actually take on a task of rendering and saving a 2D image that has at least three different geometric shapes of different sizes rotated at different angles and of three different colors. Before we do that I just want to very quickly recap on some of the things we learned in the uh, previous video tutorial. So remember we were working with a three button mouse, so if everyone can open Blender now and follow me as we work our way through this workshop. So we have our three button mouse and we know that uh, we have our scroll button, our scroll, scroll key or our scroller, however you wish to uh, reference it, which is our middle button in our three button mouse and we have the ability to scroll in to our uh, 3D world or we can scroll out of our 3D world. We can scroll in and we can scroll out. We also have the ability to change the perspective of our 3D world by holding down that middle button, the scroller key, and moving our environment around however, much, however we choose. And then we can scroll in and we can scroll out again. We also touched a little bit about moving our mesh objects or our objects in the scene. Um, to do that, um, we go over and we select our... Um, Blue arrow, which we know is is one of three axes in a 3D environment. Uh, this particular one is the Z axis, and I can move it up, down, up, down, or I can move it from right to left, right, left, and uh, this is with the left button on our mouse. One thing I didn't show you in the previous tutorial is that sometimes you may not want to move your uh, mesh object or any object in your scene. Um, on the axes. You may want to actually take it off the axes for whatever reason. Well there's two ways to do that um, and I'm going to show you both of them now. So hopefully you've got your mesh object, you're looking at your computer screen. Um, Blender have uh, a number of hotkeys and we're going to introduce you to some of these hotkeys in today's workshop. The first hotkey I'm going to introduce you to is G for grab. Sometimes we want to grab an object and move it along our scene. And in order to do that, we use the G button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on G, the G key now on my keyboard, clicked on it, and now I move my mouse, and my object is now moving freely around the 3D world. So I can put this object anywhere I wish. Now I can left click to keep it in its location, or I can right click it. So we're going to go over this again. Our G key on our keyboard. We're going to click on the G key. You can see that the orange glow changes to a white glow. I've got my mouse and I can now, I've grabbed the object. Imagine literally grabbing the object with your cursor and I can move it around the scene. Now I can move it to a location. Sometimes I move it to a location or I've selected the wrong object and I say, oh no, I've moved this object and I wish I never moved it. Now I don't know how to put it back. Well, if you click on the right button, it just returns to its original position before you started um, this modification. Or, I'm going to push the G key again, I'm going to grab my object, I move it to a different location, I'm happy with that location, and I push the left button on my mouse. So why don't you try that a little bit uh, with that hotkey grab. Keep trying it while I tell you another way to do it. 
Um, Blender have lots of different ways of doing the same thing. And During these workshops, I'm just going to try and show you what I feel is the easiest way in order for you not to um, feel Blender is too intimidating. I think Blender has the ability to be a very simple program if we take it slowly. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the mouse. I'm going to use the right key now. And to an object that's already highlighted, I'm going to just hold that right key down for a little bit and I can let it go. Hold that right key down and I can just move the object. Once I'm moving my object around, I could let go of it or I can hold on to it, doesn't matter. And I find the location I want and I left click. So you can right click your active object or you can use the hotkey G to grab your object and move, move it around the scene. So that's uh, a hotkey to introduce you to, and that's pretty much all the ways that we can move our objects to different locations, which is what we will need to do during this uh, project we're about to embark on. Now we also touched on the workshop, the other objects in our scene. We know we've got a light um, to activate other objects. When we, when we activate an object, we're saying to Blender, hey, I want to work with, with this object in my scene right now. Just do a simple right click with the cursor on the object, and it highlights the objects. So now you can see that I've got this uh, orange glow over this object. Or I can go over to my camera and I can uh, right click um, that object. And we spoke a little bit about the importance of the camera in the previous video tutorial. Um, when we come to render um, an image for our 3D environment, um, we need to make sure that that image, uh, what we want to render is in view of the camera because only what the camera sees will be rendered. Um, it's just like the real world. We are bringing life through the eyes of our camera and um, what we need to do is uh, we can go over to the bottom left hand corner in our 3D viewer, click on view, select camera view and we have the ability to see exactly what it is our camera will see when our scene renders. Um, so what we're going to do in this video tutorial is we're actually going to um, produce a project, um, an image that we are going to save, and that image is going to be of at least three different geometric shapes, mesh objects, um, and we're going to uh, have them of different scale in different locations. We're going to rotate them a little bit, and we're going to have them of three different colors. So I'm going to show you how to um, add a very simple coloring to your objects. Um, very, it's a very simple way just to introduce um, adding some materials to your objects. But before we do that, we're going to add our two objects. So in order to do this, um, left button around, I'm moving what is referred to as the blender, is the cursor, the blender cursor, and um, the red and white circle with black crosses. All we need to know for now is that this is the location of any object that I add to my scene. So I'm going to add a, a new mesh object by going in the top left hand corner, clicking add, and you can see I can select mesh, and I've got a list of all these mesh objects that I can choose from. So I don't know if anyone can remember what a mesh is made of in Blender. It's made of polygons. Anyone remember what polygons are made of? They're made of edges, vertices, and faces. So we know that all of these objects, all, all of these mesh objects in our scene um, that we were able to use now are made of polygons. And I think for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to select the UV sphere. And you can see um, it's in my scene. It's actually uh, a little bit low, so I'm just going to bring it up. And I'm also going to add another shape. Um, so I'm going to go back up, add, and I'm going to add a shape. Please feel free to do that. We're looking for three different shapes, or at least three. I'm going to use a cone shape. The first thing we're going to do is look at how we can uh, change the color of these objects. It's a very simple way. Um, adding materials um, in Blender is probably getting into the intermediate stages of Blender and definitely moves into the advanced stages. And we probably won't be covering that in any of our tutorials in this ninth grade course. Um, but what I am happy to show you is um, just adding um, uh, adding some color to our objects. A very simple way to do that, we go over to this, uh, this window over here. From our first video tutorial, we were um, introduced to how Blender is made up of multiple windows. This here is the properties window by default. 
And I've selected, I've activated my object. Um, you can see this orange glow around my object. I'm going to go over, I'm going to add a material. Um, well, I'm already in the material section. I'm going to click on material, click on new. And I'm going to go over to this diffuse uh, panel now, this diffuse option. You can see it's white. Make sure it's diffuse, not specular. Click on diffuse and uh, I bring up all these different colors and I can just spin around and you can see how my object is changing color in my scene. So uh, for interest of time we're just going to use the blue. Feel free to follow me with this. So I've now got a blue cone shape. I'm now activate my cube with the right click. I'm going to go over and I'm going to add another color. For this color, I'm going to use a nice kind of like purpley pink. And I'm going to go over to my uh, third mesh object, my UV sphere. Click on New and um, Diffuse. And for this, I will select uh, kind of like, uh, yeah, do you know what, just a red color. Red's nice. So now I've got my uh, three objects in my uh, scene. And remember, our objective is to have uh, these three objects in view of the camera um, in our scene. Um, so I'm just going to go and uh, what I'm going to do now is I am going to open up two windows. So I'm going to go up in the top right hand corner when I get this X shape or um, cross. And I'm going to left click. We did this in the first video tutorial. And now I'm opening up two windows in my project. I'm going to go and close this window down because I don't need this one. And I'm going to go and click down here in view and I'm going to make sure this one stays on camera view. So I can see exactly what my camera will see. Now I'm going to go back into this window and I'm just going to move my objects around in the scene. So I just want to move this cone along a little bit. I'll actually make it here. We have this cube. Um, so I'm going to move the object. I'm going to have this cube. I'm just going to go and uh, move it a little bit along the red axes. And uh, maybe a little bit along the green axes. Feel free to follow me. I'm just going to bring my sphere into the scene. So now I've got my three objects in the scene. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to some, some other hotkeys. Okay? So um, the first hotkey that I'm going to introduce you to is we want to sometimes scour our objects up larger or smaller. And in order to do this, we use um, the, uh, who can guess it, the hotkey for scale is S. So I'm going to push S and I'm going to scale my object up. And so now I've got a scaled object. You have the ability to scale it down or scale it up. And I'm using the mouse to kind of like move it up or down. And just like when I use that G key, um, uh, the grab option, hotkey, I'm going to scale it to when I'm happy with its size. I'm just going to left click. But I could right click, it would go back to its original position. Um, so why don't you play around with scaling your objects now. The other hotkey I'd like to introduce you to is um, the... Uh, uh, key hotkey for rotate. Anyone can guess what that hotkey is for rotate? That's right, it's an R. So I'm going to click on R. And I'm going to go and rotate my image. So I've rotated my image. And actually, I'm going to bring this image into the scene a little bit more. However, I think what I'm going to have to do is just bring this uh, cube down a little bit. So I'm going to click on scale. Scale this down a little bit. Um, in fact, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this cube a little bit further back. And I'm actually going to scale up my UV sphere. I'm going to click S. Scale that object up. Move this object into my scene. Actually, now bring the cube back. Um, feel free to keep uh, playing around with your scene now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, we've got our camera view. And um, I'm actually going to show you um, one extra uh, thing for those of you that are still working on your project. Um, and what that is, is I'm going to add almost like a floor. So I'm going to go in the top left hand corner, I'm going to click on add mesh, and I'm going to add a plane, which is basically um, a flat object, which is often used as a floor. Click on S for scale, I'm going to scale this up in my scene, scale that up, 
maybe even just a little bit more. There we go. Scaled that up. I'm going to add some color to this plane as well. So I'm going to go over to my material. I'm going to add new. And I'm going to give it a, uh, a green color. Perfect. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to look at rendering my image. Now we can quickly go and see what this will look like by going in the top left hand corner, clicking on render, render image, and you can see I've now got my three objects in my scene. Um, but what I'd like to show you now is how to save your project and then render your project. So if you could just stop what you're doing for a moment, look back up at your screens. I'm going to show you how to save. Now save is actually uh, not that different to a Word document. Um, you go into the top left hand corner, you click file, you want to save your projects. So I'm going to click on save as and it's important to save our projects because we are going to come back to them. Now by default Blender can put your files in, in odd folders and you'll never find them again. What you want to do is make sure you locate the folder that you want to save your project to. I put all of my projects in a folder called Blender so I'm going to leave that in there. And I'm going to click here, and we want to make sure we leave the extension Blend, which lets us know it's a Blender project. I'm just going to call it Geo Shapes. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to click Save as a Blender file, because that's exactly what we want to do, Save it as a Blender file. Okay, so now my project is saved. You can see in the top here it says geoshapes.blend. So now we have a finished project. And what we want to do is we want to render this finished project and save it as a JPEG image. Now, in order to do this, um, we need to have maybe just one or two extra steps than we would have if we were saving something like a Word document or even an uh, image in Photoshop. So I'm going to go through this slowly. I don't feel it's too complicated, but I do feel you just need to um, follow this video tutorial um, before you actually save your project. So um, we have our scene, we need to render our scene. In order to do that, we go into the top left hand corner, we click on the render button, and we're going to render our image. So now we have a rendered image of our project. And what we want to do is we want to um, save this render as a JPEG file. Now, if you're on a PC, you can just push F3, but um, which is your function key. But with a Mac, how we're going to do this is we're going to hold down the FN key, which is the lower left-hand side of our uh, Apple keyboard. So I'm just holding that FN key down. And then I'm going to push the F3 button at the top of my uh, Apple keyboard, which is located just above the 3. So I'm holding down the F FN key, um, which is basically activating my function keys at the top. Now I'm pushing down the F3. And I'm uh, moved to a new window, which is where I can save this render as a JPEG file. Now, by as default, it is as um, G, um, PNG file. I can go down to the uh, left-hand corner, change this to a JPEG file. And uh, what I would suggest doing is uh, sometimes um, where Blender stores your files, um, it can get a, a little bit messy. So always just go and double check and make sure you are putting the file exactly where you want it to. So for this workshop, I'm going to put it on my desktop. My desktop is a little cluttered, but I'm just going to click desktop. And you can see that it will store it on my desktop under this file name. I'll go over to the right hand side and I just click save as image, pretty standard. Saving that. So this rendered image is now saved on my desktop as a JPEG file. So I click on desktop and you can see here it is. And I can click it open. Completely independent from the Blender project um, is my uh, 2D um, image of um, uh, my geometric shapes. So um, that's the end of this uh, video workshop. Um, as you can see, we um, use the S button to scale our objects our button to rotate them and our task um, which you have if you haven't completed please do so now is to, to have a 2d image of at least three geometric shapes um, at least three geometric shapes um, which are on uh, saved onto the computer of three different colors and as an extension um, you can have a, uh, a ground and also background sky in our next video tutorial, we're going to uh, look at how we can animate these geometric shapes.